Hi, I wanted to show my 8x10 setup. I put quite a lot of uh, effort and research in getting a pretty lightweight and compact uh, setup for uh, 8x10 large format photography. Uh, this uh, kind of photography is already very burdensome and difficult. So I try to get a setup that it's uh, that I can carry around pretty easily. I can hike several hours with this. Uh, I can even bike uh, with this backpack on me. And uh, all the setup with the tripod and three lenses, camera and two film molders, everything fit in here. But let's see, a one by one, how I can fit everything in here and what kind of equipment I have. Most of the stuff uh, has been bought used to keep the price uh, down and also because most of the lenses now for large format are uh, used and they are no longer manufactured. So let's start uh, first from the camera. I don't think it comes as a surprise uh, for some people that the camera is the Intrepid 8x10. This is the first generation, now they just put out a uh, uh, second generation which is supposed to be more, a little bit more precise, uh, more refined camera for this uh, second generation. This camera, the Mark I, is about 2 kilograms, I think 4.4 pounds. The second generation will weigh a little bit more, half a kilogram more, maybe one or two pounds more. Um, here I have just a piece of cardboard to protect uh, so that I don't get dust. Um, inside and one last thing that I want to show is this uh, bracket that I use uh, which is an Arca Swiss mount very sturdy um, I don't remember the name I'm gonna put it here uh, in the video and this is very very stable uh, setup <coughs> uh, as far as I know there is another option for uh, uh, camera 8x10 around this weight which is the Chamonix Alpinist which I'm sure it's a much more uh, precise instrument but it has two drawbacks one is that um, it only shots in one orientation you cannot change the orientation in, of the back between vertical and horizontal and the second drawback which for me was a killer is that the price is one, or no, one order of magnitude more than this camera it's about uh, four thousand dollars for the Chamonix, four hundred only for the Intrepid by ten. So let's fold this up. <coughs> see the camera gets pretty compact and I store it in this bag right here this is made from PackSafe it's called PackSafe PCI-L and it's a, it's a camera bag but I removed all the small insert that it had and it just fits the 8x10 uh, almost perfectly. Then at this point I'm just going to briefly mention uh, my filter setup. So for my filters I use a pretty compact and inexpensive uh, filter system which is the Kokin or Kud filter system and it works with a ring adapter that you screw in the front element of the lens and then just with its uh, plastic uh, cheap filter holder and the filters are um, 85 millimeters and I just keep them uh, um, in rows of two in this uh, uh, filter hive mini pouch from uh, Mindshift and yeah it just works beautifully all my lens share the same 52 millimeters uh, uh, filter thread but we're gonna talk about the lenses later on let me put this back and this little pouch here fits basically perfectly in this slot here which was just lucky to complete this uh, camera bag we have the 
film holders. Um, I have a few of them. Um, this is a really lightweight one, inexpensive. It's an it's a vintage eight by ten Lisco film holder. Um, it's a little bit of a hit and miss with these vintage uh, wooden film holders. Um, I have a few of them, but only one of them I can use uh, that I trust. That it has no light leaks, and it's this one. Older Kodak ones don't work as well. This is really lightweight, and just to avoid dust, I keep it in a um, Ziploc bag. Uh, second, really nice film molder. It's the Chamonix 8x10 film molder. It's a new one. It's really uh, crafted beautifully. Uh, it's lightweight. It has carbon fiber dark slides. Uh, but it's quite expensive. But with this camera bag, I can fit two of these film molders quite nicely. Uh, they just fit in here, one and two. And they also protect the ground glass. And on top of that, I have my Horizon medium size uh, dark cloth. I also have another dark cloth, uh, it's even lighter and it's made by Beyond the Zone system. And this like cushion goes on top of here, I close it like a sandwich, I kind of tuck it in a little bit. And this should close pretty easily because you don't want to put uh, too much pressure on the um, film holders, you don't want to deform uh, dark slides. So all this big box here just fits very nicely in this backpack that I had for I think um, 13 years now and it's a 26 liter uh, Deuter backpack free rider it's all broken up and patched up but until it's gonna fall apart on me I'm gonna keep using it um, okay so let's now look at the tripod the tripod is a carbon fiber tripod uh, it's the um, really right stuff uh, TVC 24L. Um, this is one of the best, uh, probably the best tripod that they make, or one of the best. For sure, it's one of the most expensive ones. For, um, likely, I found it used. This is the version one. Now there is a version two, which is slightly improved. And um, this tripod is rated for up to um, 40, 40 pounds, about 20 kilograms. And so it's rated about 10 times more than the weight of the camera that I put on the tripod. So this gives me a lot of room for like safety and it's a really sturdy tripod. I have, I have no problems at all with wind uh, and stability or shake in, the, in my pictures. The head is the Arca Swiss P0. It's the most lightweight head that Arca Swiss makes and uh, I just love it, it's super uh, precise, like everything that Arca Swiss makes. And luckily this is also the least expensive uh, um, tripod head that they make. Let's put this on the side. And, let, and let's now look at the lenses. So the three tiny lenses, which are I think three of the most compact 8x10 lenses, are the uh, Fujinon A uh, F9 240mm lens. This is equivalent to about a 35mm lens. I just love it. Super sharp, super compact, easy to focus. I love it. Then my normal lens, uh, which I haven't tried as much, it's the Fujinon C, and uh, C is for compact. Um, f8.5 300 millimeter lens and this is about 45 millimeter equivalent so a normal lens 
and both of these two uh, are super compact and they weigh about 240 grams so a little bit more than half a pound at 300 grams so just slightly heavier is the Fujinon C another compact lens uh, and it's the uh, 440 millimeter uh, f 12.5 so you sacrifice a little bit of speed aperture but this is an extremely lightweight lens this is quite expensive and also not very easy to find and to protect these lenses I have these uh, little pouches that are made for, uh, by Temba um, and I just wrap them up individually And I just stack them on the top here. One, two, and three. At this point, we can take a look at the light meter. Uh, light meter is not exactly a lightweight one, uh, but I just love it. The Pentax spot meter, it does only one thing that is take uh, spot light uh, readings. And yeah, it just does the job so well that uh, I'm not planning to change for something smaller or to use my phone or anything instead of this reliable companion. And usually this fits nicely. Uh, in here there's a little bit of slack and it just pops right in I have another, I have another lens which uh, doesn't really fit with this lightweight category because it's a little beast uh, it's the um, Fujinon SW uh, 120mm lens um, all my other lenses they cover 8x10 with room to spare they allow for uh, quite a bit of movement this one covers 8x10, just about the right, and uh, it's heavier and bulkier, uh, weighs uh, almost one and a half pounds, uh, 600 grams, uh, but it's uh, relatively um, compact uh, in comparison to other 150mm lenses for large format, and for sure it's about 10 times less expensive than some Schneider or, or other Nikon uh, lenses uh, which are which have more coverage though and I use this from time to time I don't carry it with me all the time because it's just pretty heavy to finish off we have some accessories um, in here in this little mess I have an uh, inexpensive peak loop with this cardboard box to help in um, focusing in the ground glass, I have a stopwatch, just a quite inexpensive uh, mechanical one, still a really good one from Marathon. I have two cable releases with a little spare one. Uh, this is the Jeppy with a metallic weave, I really like it. And this is a Nikon uh, like a spare one just in case. Then I have my only battery, which is a spare battery for the light meter and just this clip that I use sometimes to clip the bellow when the movement are strange this helps me to uh, kind of to make sure that the bellows uh, is not in the way when I take um, a picture and all of these goes right here finally the tripod I just slot it in here and close it up and yeah this is it ready to go it even stays up by itself this is what I find find to be a pretty good setup to hike around. Um, 
or to bike around. And when I want to carry also some other stuff with me, I have a, this is a larger back, backpack. This one is made from McKinley, it's the Yukon 55 plus 10 liters. And with these I can carry also water or food for the day, potentially even camp out for one night if I really go frugal and then minimal with it. I hope, I hope you find some of this information helpful. Thank you for watching, if you have any question, just leave it in the comment, I will try to answer.